All right, guys, today we're up at the Butte over where the marina's at now. Over that's Ash Canyon over there, and uh, we're gonna try this uh, little boat dock right here next to the marina. And first, we're gonna throw this little uh, micro uh, Guggen crankbait, it's a little micro banger. We came up here real early. It's uh, 6 o'clock right now. We're going to try and pick a few off as the sun's coming up. We got him. We got him. We came over to this other dock and we're throwing their little uh, underspin and we got a fish. What is it? It's a white bass. Not a huge right bass, but we got him. Doop. I don't know, the marina is just too tempting. It's about seven o'clock right now and it opens at eight. So I think I'm gonna go get some minnows and then hit the marina. This is where I get my minnows, guys, at, at Bud's Bait Shop. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, can I get two dozen of the medium? Sure. Thank you. All right, guys, we got our minnows. We're going over to the marina. It's open Thursday through Monday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Except Friday, 10.30, 10.30 to 4 p.m. And then close Tuesday, Wednesday. What I've been doing lately I was just putting the minnow on a 16th ounce jig head by itself. Just like that, just the jig head and the minnow. And then I, I'll let it go down like, I'm gonna start out at three rod lengths. Just open the bail, lift the rod all the way up, then let all the slack fall. So the line gets tight again. And then two more. And putting your rod like this on the bench, it keeps it in place pretty good. They can bend it all the way over and 
the reel and everything won't budge. We just have to wait to get bit. I like to do this with light rods. This one, this one's an ultra light, and that one's a medium light. Oh, now that one's getting hit. Yeah, that's a good hit. Got him. Oh no, he popped off. He broke me. I guess I didn't have a good knot on there. I was kind of worried about it. Dang, he didn't feel all that big though. Alright guys, so it was pretty slow at the marina. All I really caught was like one crappie. It's a nice one. We're gonna go. I've never really explored Ash Canyon back there. Maybe quite a few years ago I did, but it's been a while. So we're gonna go explore back there. It's pretty shallow all around here. It probably gets deeper down there, but I don't know if I can get my car down over there. We're just gonna fish this point right here. Looks pretty good. We're just gonna go with the minnow on the 16 pounds of jig head again by itself. Let's swim around down there and see what we can pick up. We got him. Looks like a smallmouth. First smallie of the year. That's a carp right there. But that other one I seen looked like a large mouth. See you later, guy. We got another one. Another little smallie. Through my minnow. This is a smallmouth condominium right here. No dinks, but... At least so they're small now. See you later, guy. Two big carp right there. I wish I, wish I could catch a smallmouth that size. Pretty much like 10 feet in front of me and all the way down. I can see everything with my glass and my polarized glasses. So I don't know where they're hitting it, right as the the ledge starts, I guess, is where they're hitting it. Got him. Another smallmouth. Man, he, st he probably stole my sh uh, shiner earlier. He's spitting them up. Later, guy. Got him. I seen him down there. That's the fourth smallie.
He was hanging down under that big rock down there. Right on the edge of it. Boop. Oh. We got another one. Finally. One was chasing him. down to my last GoPro battery and this uh, battery is like 20% so I'm gonna strap on this GoPro 5 session it doesn't handle the wind too much like the 9 does but it's gotten a little windy so we'll see all right we got the 5 session on we're gonna retire the GoPro 9 for today so, yeah, like I said, if it gets a little windy, I, I apologize. These GoPro 9s are really good about blocking out wind noise, at least in my opinion. Dang, that point over there looks nice, too. Someone was already on it when I got here. Right around that bend is Ash Canyon. And it has quite a bit of water in it right now. It just uh, looked a little shallow where I was. I think if uh, if I would have kept going, it would have got deeper. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, June eighth. It's a Thursday. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hey, you too. Bye. Did you guys see that? I was on the phone. And I... Do I still have him? No. I set the hook on this fish. But I couldn't reel. I just set the hook. No, I do still have him. I thought he popped off when I was on the phone. Because I couldn't reel. <laughs> I just had pressure on him. He kind of swallowed it. He swam off though. We got another one. That don't have to be our sign out fish. Our battery's running kind of low on this GoPro too. minnow and this GoPro battery is pretty close to dying too. This one you can't swap out the battery you just have to charge the whole camera just once and then 
it lasts about it like an hour before it dies that's about what a one of my GoPro batteries on the 9 lasts is about an hour